subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button modi 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 Bharat Mata Ji, yes indeed. Bharat Mata Ji for India, for the greatest democracy upon the face of this planet. Thank you, India. India is a shining light to the world, and I am going to close here by giving an ode to, to India, and especially for thanking Prime Minister Modi for setting an example to the world on how to confront evil how to confront evil how to confront china there is no oppression in india there is no gender oppression in india there is no racial prejudice in india there is no color prejudice there is no religious discrimination in india whatsoever so to all my brothers to all people from the developed world to all the people of asia there is an alternative to the fascist dictatorship of china there is a very very clear way to achieve technology progress wealth advancement at the same time maintaining the values of freedom and liberty and democracy the values that all of us have come here to canada for as canadians of hong kong origin we join all of you today in opposing rise throughout China as well as around the world. We stand firm with our brothers and sisters in the Uyghur region, Tibet, Hong Kong, Taiwan, <laughs> India, and also Vietnam, as well as other countries around this world that has been under its oppression. Now that the Chinese regime has taken total control of Hong Kong, the Hong Kong people know the true nature of this brutal regime. In early July, together with other Canadian organizations, Canada Hong Kong League has sent a joint letter to our Canadian government calling for banning of Huawei sanctioning of Chinese and Hong Kong officials that have been engaged in the violation of human rights. In mid-August, we will be organizing a Canada-wide protest rally to again show our solidarity against the Chinese oppression. And we will also like to urge our government to provide protection for Hong Kong people who are under political persecution risk. We are all Uyghurs. We are all Tibetans. We are all Indians. Thank you very much. Gloria, I'm the president of Canada Hong Kong Link. I'm representing the Hong Kong Canadian community in joining force with our brothers and sisters from different ethnic communities and civil society organizations today to oppose to the brutal suppression of the Chinese authoritarian regime. We will also like to show our solidarity for our brothers and sisters that are under suppression in the Uyghur region, Tibet, Hong Kong, India, Taiwan, Vietnam, as well as other parts of the world. It is of utmost importance for all peoples around the world to be united in saying no to this suppressive regime. And we also need to urge our Canadian government to come up with a strong foreign policy toward China and Hong Kong. And uh, we also need to timely provide protection to the Hong Kong people who are under imminent uh, political persecution risk under the new uh, security law. And uh, uh, in mid-August, we will be organizing another 
Canada Wide Rally. We hope all of you can join us in saying no to China and also in making sure that the government will address to our demands. And I'm from Bangladesh. Because of Chinese aggression, I'm here today. Uh, my name is Arun Datta. I'm from Bangladesh. Today I'm here because a lot of people from India, Hong Kong, Vietnam, uh, Taiwan are here and Tibetans too to protest against Chinese aggression and what international authorities can do stop Chinese aggression and expansionism. I think the democracy and freedom is a universal value. And what is happening to India, to Tibetans, to Hong Kongers, or anyone around the world, we need to fight and stand together to defend democracy. So I hope that we'll like, put down race or put down nationality. We we'll work together to fight for a better place, and we support Indians, and hope that India will support Hong Kongers. How to confront evil? How to confront evil? How to confront China? There is no oppression in India. There is no gender oppression in India. There is no racial prejudice in India. There is no color prejudice. There is no religious discrimination in India whatsoever. So, to all my brothers. To all people from the developed world, to all the people of Asia, there is an alternative to the fascist dictatorship of China. There is a very, very clear way to achieve technology, progress, wealth, advancement, at the same time maintaining the values of freedom and liberty and democracy. The values that all of us have come here to Canada for. As Canadians of Hong Kong origin, we join all of you today in opposing rights throughout China as well as around the world. We stand firm with our brothers and sisters in the Uyghur region, Tibet, Hong Kong, Taiwan, India and also Vietnam as well as other countries around this world that has been under its oppression. Now that the Chinese regime has taken total control of Hong Kong, the Hong Kong people know the true nature of this brutal regime. In early July, together with other Canadian organizations, Canada Hong Kong Link has sent a joint letter to our Canadian government calling for banning of Huawei, sanctioning of Chinese and Hong Kong officials that have been engaged in the violation of human rights. In mid-August, we will be organizing a Canada-wide protest rally to again show our solidarity against the Chinese oppression. People have to live in, in unity. We are still in transition. Civil society has been decimated. Of course we rely on media. And I think the government has not done enough. The international community has failed to respond. No place in the world is perfect. The yoga event is held here. Severe injustice and they should be stopped. We should raise our voices. Condemn this uh, brutal act.